Hello, what's up YouTube? Brony Sweet and tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how you can easily convert your low resolution photos into high resolution photos or basically how you can easily convert your pixelated photos into high quality or high resolution photos. There are so many myths about how you can do this and one of them has been first of all converting your image into a smart object but remember when you do when you do convert your image into a smart object, it means that it's going to preserve the original pixels and the resolution is going to remain the same at the end of it all. So, if at all you haven't liked this video, don't forget to like this video. I've noticed so many people tend to enjoy these tutorials and you don't hit the like button. So, I'm just requesting you to first of all take a moment, maybe a second, and hit the like button on this video so that we can proceed with this amazing and wonderful tutorial. Hoping you're done hitting the like button, let me show you guys the very important technique or how you can easily convert low resolution photos into high resolution photos. So, we first of all want to enable something before we can proceed with this wonderful technique. So, in order to do that, we're just going to come to Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop 2020 for Mac. For those that always ask the kind of Photoshop I'm using. So when you come to Photoshop, just come to the Preferences and now come all the way down to Technology Previews. So just come and look for this option and just click on it. So when you come to this option, we have where it says Enable Preserve De Details 2.0 Upscale. So we just want to activate this option. So after activating it, we're just going to come and hit OK. So this means that every adjustment we are going to be adding onto this image is going to be preserved and it's going to preserve the original details into this very image. So after doing that, the next thing we want to do is upscaling the image or trying to change the image into a high resolution by just increasing the resolution, which is the, the most important aspect for this tutorial. So we're just going to come to image and we're going to come to the image size. So I hope you are really learning and understanding this. So we have just come to image and we chose image size and brings up this little dialog box right here. And if at all I try to zoom in this image, you can see that it is really pixelated. For example, in the eye area. So I'm just going to click to zoom out so that you can see everything as we're doing it in this or trying to convert this image into a high resolution. So by default, you may be having percent right here. So make sure to change it into pixels. Remember, right now we are trying to deal with this image and we are dealing with the pixels. So just want to make sure that the image is not really pixelated. So, you can see the original image size is 4.97 uh, megabytes. So, what we have to do, just come to where it says this and look for pixels. So, when you select pixels, it's going to bring the information in the image. So, the width is uh, 1179 pixels and the height is 1474 pixels. And the resolution is 100 so what we want to do in this case, I'm just going to, we're just going to come to where it says resolution and we turn it up. So in order to turn this up, we want to come and make sure that, I hope you really understanding. I'm just go back a little bit. So this is the width and the height of the image. So in order to increase on the resolution, we have, we have to make sure that every single time you're trying to increase on the resolution, the longest side of the image which is uh, the height because my image is more of a portrait form measure the longest side of the image which is the height of the image is up to around 3000 pixels yeah let's just do this so right now we have 100 so let me just try putting in maybe 200 and this is really are closer to 3000 or let me go in for around 300 
uh, 300 is too much so I'm just going to come and I use 250 so 250 is within the 300 pixel kind of depth or kind of gap so this looks fine and when I zoom out let me just try zooming out and try zooming into the eye you can see that the pixelated area has been gotten rid of I hope you can see this so when I click right here you can see that it is pixelated you can see in the eye area and when I release you can see that the pixelated area has been gotten rid of I hope you can see this let me just try zooming in so that you can see everything so this is our after and the before is right here you can see the pixelated area and you can see the after and we have just gotten rid of that kind of pixelated area so remember the very first thing that we did was going to the preferences and enabling the preserve details so come to resample and make sure this preserve details option is really turned on and if at all it is not turned on make sure to go and do everything so that you first of all turn it on and you'll have it under your resample option so make sure it is right here and it is checked and now you select it so you can now come and reduce the noise so when you reduce the noise basically uh, it is going to determine how your image is going to be because when you take the noise all the way down and we look at the image it is going to be over overly maybe sharp and when we do the opposite is going to be overly smooth so what we want to do we just want to remain with the image at a neutral kind of level so i think at around 20 we are good to go so let me just try zooming in and you see the before and after before after and the resolution has now been increased and now when you look at the image size our image size has been increased to 30 one megabyte so remember it was 4.97 mbs and right now it is 31.1 mbs so basically we are done increasing or converting the image into a higher resolution kind of image i'm just going to come and hit ok so that this can really be applied onto the image and it's going to take maybe a short while and let's just get to wait for it to perform its magic on the image so remember we have just converted this image into a high resolution image that is why it looks as uh, zoomed into this extent meaning it is a bigger kind of file or image so the next thing that we want to do if at all you feel like this is okay for you you can stop right here but you can take this a little bit further by coming right here and duplicating this layer by hitting ctrl command j then you come and add the high pass filter so come to filter and you come to other and you come to high pass and for this case uh, a radius of 8 is too much because the image is going to be looking unrealistic so i'm just going to come and just slightly add a radius not more than uh, one pixel i think that looks okay and hit okay and now change the blend mode in order to get rid of this gray kind of layer change the blend mode from normal and i'm just going to go for a uh, linear light and this is going to even sharpen the image more i hope you can see that the image looks a little bit more sharper but i feel like this is too much for my liking i'm just going to come and reduce on the opacity of the sharpening effect so just want to compare the before and after for this image and what we have done i'm just going to zoom in the original image so that you can see it in real time so this is our image that we have been able to increase from a low to a higher resolution and this is the image uh, before let me just sorry just going to, i'm just going to come right here and you can see this is the image that we have right now and i'm just going to zoom in so that you can see the difference so this was the pixelated image and this is the higher resolution image pixelated higher resolution pixelated and the higher resolution you can see the difference right now and this is really an effective way of how to convert your images from a low resolution into a higher resolution kind of format and if i told you i've loved this 
don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating